What is up guys, Austin Richo here. Today we're unboxing the Geek Fuel EXP. So this is the Volume 4, so our fourth box since they changed this new system. And it comes every so many months and I always forget about it till it arrives. And then I'm always surprised. So let's see what we've got this time. So I like this box because it's usually full of a lot of different items. Of course, not everything's good about it, um, but I like that we get so many different items. There's bound to be something at least that we'll like in here. So let's go ahead and start. Um, I guess we'll start with our pin for the month. So it looks like an Archer pin because it's right here on top. And it is of, I think, uh, Mallory, Mallory, it says right there. So yeah, the pin there, weird little figure and everything. But it's got the Mallory pin, so it looks like the box is kind of smashed. But there's all the characters you could have gotten um, in the back there. So that's, I guess, kind of cool. I don't watch Archer and don't really care for it, but I know, bro, you watch it and stuff. So that's, I guess, different. I like how it's shaped like a card box, too. Yeah, it does look like a deck of cards, obviously, if it wasn't smashed. But yeah, that's our pin. Next up, I think we've got our shirt here. It's in this weird bag that we've never had before, but it kind of feels soft like a shirt and everything. So I assume that's what it is. So here it is, it's a Spider-Man shirt, so there we've got it there, there's a tag. Um, so it looks like it says Kid Arachnid, which of course was like kind of like Spider-Man's first name or whatever before it became Spider-Man. So it looks like we got a couple different Spider-Mans back there. Um, so it looks like we've got the Miles Morales Spider-Man, Plain Spider-Man, and maybe Spider-Gwen. Um, it's hard to tell with all the red, but I assume that's who that would be right there. So that's kind of cool, it's got Marvel and then of course all the spider webbing and a little spider down here. So that's a, um, kind of a neat shirt and of course it's pretty decent looking and stuff. And a uh, cool Spider-Man shirt, so that's awesome. And then I guess it wasn't a tag, but we got a Spider-Man sticker as well, so it's a sticker you can obviously stick on stuff, and it's an all red sticker there, so that's cool as well. Next up, it looks like we've got some Titan figures here, and it's a Game of Thrones, so of course we got the new season of Game of Thrones coming up, but it looks like a Viserion, the Reich, I don't know how to say it, right, right version, whatever, where it turns to like the Ice King, or it gets turned by the Ice King. And every, or brought back to life by the Ice King, I should say, and so it becomes bad and shoots ice and all sorts of stuff. So let's look at this. So here it is. So there is the dragon again. It says it's Viserion, so good. I would know really the difference between all the different dragons. But it is, again, after I said, turned by the um, the king or whatever, the Ice, ice king. king. And so you can see the eyes are blue there and stuff. And it's got all this um, kind of like a clear color because this does glow in the dark, um, so that's probably why it looks like this. But it looks like it's turned like a bluish gray color. I don't know what color it was originally. If it's like the green one or the um, like brownish color one, not really sure. But I don't know if that's a part of it changing into the ice version or whatever that it changes colors here. But it looks pretty cool. So obviously we got the wings here; they're all folded back and everything. So there's like the whole little hands and claw stuff. And it's got the two feet. The tail is right here wrapped around in front of the body and stuff, and the mouth is open. So again, and it does say it does glow in the dark. And this is an exclusive 4.5 inch version. So I don't really know that much about the Titan figures we don't buy too many and we get them in boxes a lot but it does look really cool and I want to see what it looks like glow in the dark I assume it's gonna be like a blue or something but that does look cool next up we've got this says a power clip because of course obviously they do stuff they can't brand it but it looks like the power glove I think from Nintendo but it's a clip and so it looks like it's just a chip clip is what this is so here it is so there it looks like the glove there so it says power clip on it and so there's obviously the hand or it looks like a hand and stuff and it's got all sorts of little button designs there on it but it's just a chip clip so you can see underneath um, it's got a clip there so obviously in a magnet so you can always stick it on a refrigerator and then again it's a clip there so you can clip like a bag of chips or whatever as well and then it did come with a little poster I assume probably came with like the power glove but it's that's what it's based on so we got power clip with a guy there within and like instructions of what to do which obviously it's just kind of a um, super little poster thing but that also came with it as well next up we got some that's supposed to be from uh, Indiana Jones so this time it says golden fertility idol of the lost temple and then it's in like this wooden crate looking box and stuff and it's kind of heavy so I don't know exactly what this is going to be as I assume it's like a statue but let's look at it so here is the thing I just want to show it does come in this like um like velvet style bag drawstring bag there so it came in that and so here it is and so it's oh okay so it's um a little I think kind of like the thing from Indiana Jones I don't know if this is exactly what it looked like it's been a while since I've actually you know looked that close at it and stuff but it is a weird giant head thing there so again it's got a face on it with hair and everything then it's got a body here so it's got breast and then it does have a child coming out from between its legs so it's kind of weird but this i think is a candle because there is a wick right on the top here and it does have a waxy kind of smell to it um it doesn't smell good but it's not like horrible either it just has a very weird smell to it but yeah i guess it's a candle um kind of weird and different it's just all completely solid wax i assume um so it's kind of fun to have a cool thing that kind of is like you know reminiscence of indiana jones but 
it's a candle so I'd obviously never burn it. And next up we've got another what I assume to be a canvas thing from the canvas collection Silver Age Edition and it looks to be like X-Men which is awesome. I love the X-Men stuff. So let's look to see what it is. So here's our canvas print is of X-Men number one and that's why I have a big actually poster of this in my room. So it's the original X-Men comic book cover from 76 I want to say. I don't know if it says on there, but I think it's somewhere around there. It could be 67, something like that. But again, looks really cool. I have all the original X-Men. So we have Angel, Beast, uh, Jean, I don't know, I think she was something called Marvel Girl or something like that. Um, Cyclops, Iceman, and then of course Fighting Magneto, which it says the greatest, or whatever the... Earth's most powerful super villain there. I always think that's kind of funny. So that's again, these canvas prints are like the coolest things we get out of the boxes. And so this is, especially being X-Men, is another cool one to add with that. Next up, we've got a Steam code for Splasher. So again, it's another free code here for uh, Steam game stuff for Splasher. Looks actually kind of interesting. I may have to try one. I've still never played any of these games. I have all these codes and have never played them. Um, but I'll have to try them at some point. So we got Splasher there. And the last item out of the box is, looks like to be a comic. I don't know if this is a real comic sure looks like if it says spider-man thor marvel team up custom edition number one so again it's just a comic book it says in the hands of the collectors so we have the collector that we obviously saw in guardians of the galaxy and so yeah it just looks like an actual comic book inside so that's kind of cool that we just got this especially if this is a custom edition you know special just for this box or something so before we look at the paper just to show all the items i do want to show again the inside of the box so we do the thing so we have indiana jones there and then you set that little idol thing right there on the pedestal design there and so it looks like you know indiana jones is trying to grab and stuff i just want to show the inside of the box off so that is again it for all the items so we have of course our booklet here with all of the different items so of course we got the spider-man t-shirt again with the different versions of spider-man's on and stuff there so that was again a cool shirt we've got our power clip that chip clip there it looks like the power glove our viserion um ice wipe <laughs> what a dragon whatever from titans then we've got our splasher game code our archer pin for the month where we of course got the mallory the x-men uh, canvas picture there which again is always so cool and then we do have the lost idol temple or fertility idol thing in the bag here the candle which again cool design but kind of weird for a candle but it looks like that is all of the items again for this month and that is everything so that is it for this geek feel unboxing let me know what you thought of the box and the items down in the comments down below leave a thumbs up for me subscribe to the channel and i want to thank you all so much for watching and we will see you next time